Throughout this video, I'll show you a simple but effective way to implement a name your price a pricing strategy in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. So for example, here I've implemented a name your price system for this particular product and the customer can go ahead and enter in how much they'd like to pay for this particular product. In this case, they want to pay $25, then they can add it to cart. I've actually created a minimum amount that they need to enter as well for this particular product. And that minimum amount is $12. So if we try to enter in at $10, here we'll get a notice letting us know that we need to enter in $12 or more, right? So we can continue with our $25 and then just add it to our basket. I should note as well that I've only applied this name your price option to this particular product. So if we actually visit another product on our store, we won't see that name your price option, right? So here it's just normal products. So if you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP product add-ons plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So we'll just navigate over to AOVUP and then product add-ons. We'll create a new option set. We'll give this a name, it's just for internal purposes. Okay, and then we get to choose which product we want to apply this name your price option to. Okay, so we can set it to all products. We can specify a specific product or category, or we can specify a specific product type. So I'm going to add this option onto our custom hoodie product. So let's go ahead and search for that product. Okay, and then we'll create a new option. So we'll create a number field. And then we'll say price. And then this is displayed in the cart page and on the thank you page as well. So for the number field, we'll enter in our label here. So we'll say name your price. Okay, we can set a minimum value. So let's say this t-shirt costs us $12 to fulfilled. So the minimum we'll accept for this product to ensure that we're not actually losing any money is $12, right? And then for the price, we'll go ahead and change it depending on what number the customer actually inputs. So we'll say product price increased. And then instead of a fixed amount, we'll say multiplied by the value, right? And then we'll say $1. So essentially, if they type 10, in the number field, it'll be $10, right? Then we'll just hit save. Okay, so let's view our custom hoodie product. There's one thing we need to do for this product. We need to set the base product price to zero. So let's edit this product and let's set this price to zero. Okay, now the customer can enter in how much they want to pay for this particular product. So for example, we can say $15 and here you can see we've been charged $15. If you wanted, you can hide this plus $1 um, option here, right? And to do so, let's head back over here. Let's edit this field. Let's click on display and then we'll say hide prices. Let's hit save. Now let's refresh this page. Now that $1 option that was here is now hidden. So let's say, for example, the customer tried to enter in $10. The system will reject it since we've set a minimum of $12, right? I can subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.